I lived in a really small bedroom um, when I first started freelancing and all my makeup and everything was in my room. And it was so frustrating to me because there's things I had purchased that I knew I could no longer use on clients. And I'm researching, 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 and there's nowhere for the products to go. I was like, I'm so sick of all this product and I don't want to throw it away. What can I do? I draw, um, I actually didn't start painting until I said using makeup. Just like, literally was like, let me just see what happens if I put it on paper. So I started on paper and it took pretty well. I used um, like a CRM foundation and that was like my first experiment and I let it dry and I was like, oh, that actually doesn't look that bad. Then I went into, well, how can I use lipstick? How can I use eyeshadow? And the thing is, is that everything I use has a different property to it, right? Like it's chemistry and I'm not a chemist. So <laughs> like I have to take each individual product and go, it might mix with this. Nope, that didn't work. It might mix with that. That didn't work. Um, so I've just literally been like taking like stuff like this, mixing it. I mix it with cornstarch, flour. I have tons of paint mediums that I've used. I've like referenced, you know, artists that, that actually paint. I'm like, what should I do? And they're like, I have no idea. This is absolutely insane. I don't, I don't, this is not a thing that people do. Um, so it's been literally like two years of my roommates watching me late at night, like baking lipsticks and being like, what you doing Molly? And I'm like, I'm just seeing what I can do with this. Um, or, you know, just like piles of makeup out and just trying to figure out a way to use it. But it's, it's just been like a, a, fun thing for me to do, but I have a, you know, a bigger scale plan that I'll be launching later on. But essentially I just wanted, I just wanted to find a way to reduce waste.